to be a big week for rock and roll fans as KISS performs in Sioux Falls on Wednesday, but this certainly isn't the first time the band has played in Kelo Land. That's right. In this week's Flashback Friday, we take a look at when KISS rocked the stage way back in 1983. The KISS Army is the loyal fans that follow the group. Like this Gene Simmons impersonator from Brookings. The security guards, they think that I, you know, I get in here because they think, oh, Gene Simmons, let's let him in. You go to the hotel, it happened this afternoon, my wife Lori and I walked in and the rooms were ready for us. We all we had to do was sign. You know, what are we supposed to do? I was you know. Then there is the other KISS Army, the people that don't approve of the group. Just like to say one thing, parents. Kids out here are coming to see something that's very satanic, and what KISS stands for is Knights and Satan's Service. Um, we're just out here trying to witness to people and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. But KISS doesn't care what anybody thinks about their act or what their message is. It's only a big deal to them. People love to believe what they want to believe no matter what. So that's their problem, not ours. The KISS motto is, if the music is too loud, then you're too old. And when we saw the paint start to peel off the wall of the arena, we decided we were too old. From the Sioux Falls Arena, Gary Wackworth, Kelloland News. To see more stories from our archive, just search Flashback Friday on Kelloland.com. Gary, Gary Wackworth, of course, a former co-host of Kelloland Living. That's right. Was, yeah, it's fun to see it. Look back at that. Yeah, I was kind of hoping Gary was going to wear that uh, kiss makeup. but. Uh, Oh, that would have been fun to see. Maybe, maybe he'll do a recap of it and do it again. Sure. Amazing.